Say hi. <laughs> You are coming through tomorrow. He said that. I got in last night. I wanted to surprise you. Well, you sure did. <laughs> Where's your mother? I'm somewhere in there. I think she was. She blowed her eye in her hair. Look. Well, don't come out good to you, but <laughs> a handshake won't get it, buddy. Bless your heart. I am thrilled to death to see you. Gosh, <laughs> you're good looking, right? <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you very much. It's been a couple months. <laughs> yes, it has. But it's almost five, isn't it? Yeah, it's been almost five months. Well, 20 weeks. Yeah. Didn't quite work out calendar. Well, I sure weeks. didn't expect to see you walk in here. <laughs> wow, this is a surprise. Golly, I'm sick. Thrill to death. <laughs> I thought you were going to have your graduation today. Nope, I had that Wednesday. Well, did, uh, uh, What's your name? Teresa. Teresa's a get there? Yeah. Oh, crazy. You got there, yep. Well, you're out. For a while. I, yes, I am. I, I have a question cool. for you. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this reserve unit you're in up here, what kind of reserve is it? Infantry to engineers? or? I think it's just an engineer company. I don't know the details. I don't know if it's heavy equipment. I don't know if it's combat engineers. I don't know the details. I've been trying to call them because I need to get with them in the next 72 hours yeah. and give them my paperwork. Yeah. And they're not answering their phone. I don't know. So I'm trying to get all that figured out, but I don't Kay Ann Wright walks toward her daughter's classroom with the aid of a crutch following a recent accident when she broke several toes. But that injury couldn't slow her down on this day. Daughter Kaylee Donaldson, this week's star student, got to have Daddy be today's royal reader for her kindergarten class. Both are about to be happily surprised. <laughs> Kaylee runs to Mama's arms for some love as her classmates and teachers cheer. Mission accomplished. Daddy and daughter were certainly surprised. Mommy was a big surprise. Huh? Were we worried? You were worried about mommy? You were a star student? High five! Soon the happiness of this 9-11 military homecoming spills into the hallways. The Air Force veteran and her family are showered with thanks and praise and welcome home cards. Oh, I'm overwhelmed right now. I am. <laughs> been away for seven months and being able to touch her and my husband is awesome. I couldn't be more blessed right now. Her normally outgoing kindergartner seems a little overwhelmed by all this attention, but she's certainly happy mom's back home. I like mommy when she comes home. Were you surprised? It was very difficult, especially whenever Kelly miss her and she wants her mom and there's nothing I can do for her just to comfort her and uh, yeah, show her mom and be home real soon. That homecoming is on 9-11, which just happens to be the seventh anniversary of Kay Ann Wright joining the Air Force. We appreciate them every day, but when we have the opportunity to participate in a homecoming, it just kind of brings it home how much we do appreciate what they do for our country. In Biloxi, Steve Phillips, WLOX News. Tell my daughter. Daddy. Daddy. Hi, Elena. Daddy. Daddy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Wieder zurück. Schön. Hey. <laughs> What are you doing? This <laughs> <laughs> is jetzt eine Überraschung. Ich habe überhaupt nichts gesagt. Keinen Zuss. Etta. Etta. Nein, noch nicht. Warte mal, warte mal, Hanni, warte mal. Jetzt. 
I want to record it. They're inside. The door is always closed. Shh. I'm sorry. What should I do? I have a surprise for you, Sami. Come on in. Come in. Ryan. Ryan. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Oh. How's your day coming along, Mom? Oh, I'm so good to see you. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little early. Oh my God, you're lying. You're lying to I me. I did, but you should appreciate me for it. It's a good surprise. They took care of me. Oh my God. Oh my baby, home. I'm very safe. It's very more sarcastic. It's okay. a good thing. Oh Where's God. Dad? You are bad. <laughs> Tell him come out. He's in the basement. Oh my God! You're losing weight, babe. Losing? I'm gaining. I gained 20 pounds. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! You're here. Oh my God! You're here. I don't believe it. But just last night you said you, were, you won't be here until the end. I know that was a coincidence. I already asked Sam where you uh, what you were doing, and you told me what time is you working. After I asked her. Oh my god, you eat? Like you six eat? hours ago. Oh, you hungry? You want to eat food? Not really. I'm more happy. Where's Dad at? Basement. Oh, uh, he's not here. Yeah, I'll go get him when you want to come in anyway. Uh, Where's your what house? What should I do? Should he do? Does he deserve a surprise? I yeah, I think he does. Because I scream like this, he already sees. You think so? He's not here. <laughs> you know him, he's a big bully. He's a big bully? Yeah. Well, I'm not going in until he comes out. Thank you so much. You want me to go get him? Believe it! I got that. I got that even surprised. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I don't have a mustache. I don't have cherry or shoes. How long stay? At his house? Yeah, for the last six hours. Six hours? Yeah. I was waiting for you guys to get home. Well, yeah. get off work. He's home all day, and then oh, yeah, yes. I went back it up at six. The Lawler family loves attending sporting events, but this time it's bittersweet because the family's biggest fan, Dad, isn't there. He's serving our country in Kosovo right now. And what's been the hardest part to not have him around the last few months? Well, I'm just getting used to not being able to give him a hug. This is the first Christmas the Lawler girls will spend without their dad. I really don't like it. And I wish you could just come home for the holidays. All I want for Christmas is to have him come back. What the girls don't know is that they're getting a gift early, but it won't fit underneath the tree. Dad, Sergeant Thomas Lawler, is home on leave. We're trying to make it pretty memorable for the, the kids. This is the first time I've been deployed overseas. He hasn't seen his family in more than three months. I'm 
ecstatic to be here right now. But upon his arrival at tonight's big bobcat game, his kids have no idea he's only feet away. Are you nervous? <laughs> Very nervous. He spends the first period of the game incognito, uh, getting ready for the big reveal. Okay. Is that too tight? Nope. Now it's showtime. If you had a chance to make one Christmas wish come true, what would it be? Love you guys. A wish come true for one family, reminding all of us the true meaning of Christmas. So shocked, but it's the best Christmas ever now. It's the best Christmas present I've ever had. With KX News, I'm Megan Lowry. Here's another special moment at an NFL game as a soldier surprises his family during the Packers Bucks game in Tampa. We'll never get sick of these moments ever. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs>